Welcome to Take On The World with Sue, Katie, and Mike. Sue, thanks for joining us this week. <laughs> you are welcome. We'll, this miss, week's... we'll miss John. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, I had a sex change over the week. Yeah, good for you, bro. Mm-hmm. That, is, the that artist... is some odd news for this week. I'm the artist formerly known as John. <laughs> yeah, his new symbol is just a penis. <laughs> So the take on the world here, we talk about a whole bunch of other different things, topics, whatever. You're not going to get facts. You're not going to get good information. We're probably going to lie to you a whole lot. But but you're going to believe it and love yeah. every sweet ass word. You're probably going to close your computer and never hit this. <laughs> of course they're going to listen to it again. They're going to listen to it again. Of course they will. I will. I think we're funny. I don't know. And this is episode really four. 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 What's that? Which one? Quattro. Four. Okay. That's after three. Three? What's after four? Six. Five. But you must say two and three first. <laughs> I, <laughs> nope. Like the hand grenade of <laughs> from Monty Python. You will not rule me. <laughs> anyway, this week we'll be talking about, I don't know if anybody can guess. Hmm. Anybody? Mm-hmm. Anybody? I don't, I don't see a theme here. None? Well, I think it's close to Halloween, Pizza too, isn't Gate. It? No, we're not talking about Pizzagate. <laughs> I love pizza. Me, too. We're talking about horror Chicken movies. Chicken bacon ranch pizza. That is good. My it favorite. Is. You know what? I'm just going to get this off my chest. Fuck meat lovers. What? I don't like meat lovers pizza. You're just a dude. Ironically, likes meat lovers and everything else. Yes, <laughs> just not on. He's a pizza. meat lover of everything else, if just you, not if pizza. If you add dough and tomato, he's not about it. No, I am about the dough and tomato. No but, meat. I'll eat it, but yeah, yeah, we all know you'll eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> and just for reference, pineapple does belong on pizza. Oh, love me a pineapple yeah. pizza. It belongs on pizza in the trash can. <laughs> oh, what? What's your? What's your? Uh, what do you got against pineapple pizza? It, it, it doesn't belong on pizza. But you'll still eat it, won't you? No, never. What? No. I'm not a fan of fruit. Did you ate them soggy ass fucking mushroom bites from the from the Chinese <laughs> cafe the other day? Chinese kids mushroom bites? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, no, no, no. What the? It, it wasn't the Chinese place. It was the uh, the canteen down the street. Whatever the fuck you want to call it? Oh, I don't eat there anymore. Can you get me mushroom? Fried mushrooms. I bites. like fried mushrooms. They just were not good. <laughs> Katie. You don't like fried mushrooms? Hmm? Do you like fried mushrooms? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I love fried mushrooms. It's like fried cock. Yeah, that's pretty much what that tastes like. <laughs> Fed shit. Kept Ten in the four. Dark. <laughs> that's so far off the topic <clears throat> of horror eh, whatever. Movies. That could be a horror movie. Not Rob. to say it could be. Not really. Watching Mikey fried mushrooms. That would scare anybody. Dun, dun, dun. Sucking on his fingers. Oof, gave me nightmares for weeks. Greasy little fingers. Are you done? <laughs> little... Why are you looking at my fingers, dude? <laughs> Licking your lips. <clears throat> Anyways, back on topic of horror I, movies. I think uh, this is this is your this is your area. Oh, I love horror movies. You're... I don't think anybody's as in tune with this area as I am. Really? really? Okay. All right. Mike has seen a lot more, but that's just because Mike is Mike, but I know a lot more. All right. Hmm. I'm just kind of, I'm at the bottom of the tier right now, which is nothing wrong with that, but. Well, okay. I don't know. You turned me on to a great horror movie once. I turned you on? To a great I horror movie. I knew it. I knew it. Who starred in it? Was it the chin strap? What was it about? Who was in that movie? <laughs> what was it called? What was it about? So, Hitters? so <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go again. again. You were in that one. <laughs> so this podcast came up because we used to sit in the shop and talk about the most ridiculous things. Anything. And, and we're over the top. Yeah. Oh, like well, someone's over the top. Most of us <laughs> just had regular conversations. John made him gay. So the one day he comes in and he says, "Hey, Mike." I saw this great freaking horror movie over the weekend. <laughs> Th- this movie was awesome. I'll never live this down. And I'm like, oh, really? What was it? I, 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 love, I love horror movies. I, I want to see it. I, I don't remember the name of it. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so who was in it? Well, I don't know who was in it. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, what was it about? Tell me what it was about. You know, explain a movie to me because this was such a great movie. I have to see it. What was it about? Well, I don't know. <laughs> like, are you shitting me? Like, no. you don't know what it's about. You don't know the name of it. You don't know who was in it. But I'm sure you'd like it. What year was it made? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you knew nothing about the movie, dude. I knew I really liked it. Well, you know what? It. In my defense, that movie's hard to describe. Very true. Because if you if, if Katie asked me right now what the movie was about, and my I sim- couldn't tell you, but my, it was a good movie. <laughs> my simplistic mind, I don't know. I just, I, I couldn't formulate the words to create a sentence to describe this movie. So it was, was about a week later you figured out what the movie was. Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth. And it's actually listed no, on... No, I knew the name of it. I told you what it was called. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Need we phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess it's three three to one. Yeah, we were voting. <laughs> it's 3-1 <three one laughs> against you. So anyways... But Pan's Labyrinth was... And it's it's, it's listed. Really movie. It's listed on the top five hundred. It's it like high in the list of the top, top five hundred. Why? It's That's the list that I looked at. Jesus Christ! No, no, it's in in, in the top three hundred. It's in the top hundred of the top five hundred movies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, there have probably only been five hundred horror movies. No, well, there have been much many. Oh. Ma- Actually, so rap at me, bro. Let's talk about it. Doing- I think Daniel Day Souza did a great job at directing that. Oh, you know the director, but you know nothing else about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the director. <laughs> Philip Sousa? No. John Philip Sousa? Yeah. That's the guy that wrote... Uh, wrote Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did he write? <laughs> I almost said the National Anthem, but it wasn't. <clears throat> John Philip Sousa wrote... Uh, Star Spangled Banner? He did not write Star Spangled Banner. Star Spangled Banner is our National Anthem. That was written by Francis I know, you just Scott said that. Key. John Philip Sousa was a predominant figure in history i feel all like. I, know, <laughs> I feel i feel like he was <laughs> I all like i know this. is he stayed in the lincoln at reading years ago <laughs> fact i don't think he did he got his rocks off at the lincoln and reading okay many have so i'm, I'm doing research for this episode uh-huh. because i like to look things up before we talk about them i did not so i know a little bit about what i'm talking I'm about i'm just gonna go on pure memory yeah. And I thought to myself, what was the first horror movie ever made? <sighs> and John, you don't even have any notes in front of you. No, I don't need no notes. The yeah. notes that I gave you. <clears throat> I wrote them on the back of my machete. Machete. So, mm. 1896 was the first horror movie ever made. John and I weren't alive for that. Yeah. yeah I was, that was a while ago. I was not born yet. Surprisingly. Hmm. He was just a stain on a sock, boy. In fact, I looked up the, the first 10 horror movies, and this uh, George Milieres. Uh, Say that again. Milies. Sounds different every time you say it, but anyway. <laughs> Milies. John Philip Sousa? No. Jorge Milies. Was he American? No. No, not even close. He was born in Puerto Rico. No, he was not. He he was not. Keep going. Anyway, he did like six of the the first ten horror movies. And I actually went on YouTube and I watched these horror movies thinking, I'm going to settle in and watch four or five of them. Well, that took me eight minutes because the the first one was only four minutes long. But in its day, when you think about it, film had to be so expensive. I just don't understand how you make a a successful horror movie in four minutes. Uh, did you? Uh, you didn't watch these. Did you watch minutes. these? No, I watched all okay. of them. No, you didn't. Yes, it. No, you did not. You <laughs> yes, lied. <laughs> yes, he did. <clears throat> uh, the Devil's the House of the Devil uh, is the first one. It's four minutes long. If you go down to the fourth one, which was in 1897, that movie. In its full entirety, is 44 seconds long. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I would love to see them, but uh, they're, they're, I don't, they're, I don't It's know. actually pretty cool. They're silent films. They got the, the quirky music in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, but I watched five or six of them, eight minutes. Uh, I wouldn't... They, they put them out as comedy 
horror. I don't really. It, it's a different time, but it was. It was. This is the root of the horror industry. Started with these movies. Hmm. All from this one guy. Uh, well, most of them for the one guy. There was another guy. Uh, the X ray X ray fiend. X ray. You X- need to talk in your mic, Mike. X ray fiend. I, I don't care. Was George Albert Smith? It was not George Milius. Jorge Albert Smith. Hmm. I don't know. I, I found it interesting because I just thought that was an interesting piece of research on it. So then, you know, since you were the only one who does your homework, what was the actual full length horror, the first full length horror movie? That I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Because I think you know and you're ready to pop it off. No. Oh, really? Really? You're going to bring that up and not even know? It was a question I was. I'd look it up right now, but question. I don't have internet access. Nosferatu. No, no. And that was an hour and a half long, and that was 1920. Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein. I have no idea what it actually the is. Frank- the Fra- really the first question. Frankenstein movie was actually, um, that was based on uh, Shelley. Shelley wrote Frankenstein? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that was like 25 minutes long. I see. Crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what's weird? Is now that we have all these long <laughs> movies that we're accustomed to, hour and a half, two hours. You see with the new stuff coming out, it's like real quick, like Quibi. Isn't that what it's called? And they're like real, they're like basically short films. Like all the shows are now like 15, 20 minutes long. So they're kind of going back to that. But it holds your attention longer. Yeah. I find that interesting. It also takes a little more art to get your point across in a shorter period of time. Yeah. Like what I was listening to, and they said the guy filmed basically a whole season in like two days. Whole season of? Of their show. What show? I don't know. Oh, thanks. Pan's just, Labyrinth. Just Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> So I I grew up in the seventies and eighties, nineties, and horror flicks were like the jam back then. Like B, I love B movies. I love low budget horror movies. Crappy, just yeah, stupid. Yeah. And and they would pump them out. And I used to believe that Grindhouse was a type of film, and it, it actually isn't. A Grindhouse is the movie theaters that would play the the B movies because they'd spend ten thousand dollars making a movie and make a million dollars grinding them out in these theaters just just grinding one after another and that's where the term grindhouse came from i found out from my research too i learn something but new every day th- there is a I-, I thought there was a grindhouse genre but when i was looking up the uh, horror movie genres to prove a point to somebody sitting at this table who because still doesn't believe jaws it jaws and birds are not horror movies ladies and gentlemen alfred hitchcock is most certainly horror psychological thrillers there that's is a, a whole fine other subject line. that we're going to get into, but horror and psychological thrillers are Somebody completely different things. Somebody please tell me what that, where, where that line is that divides a horror from a not horror. You mean a horror from a psychological thriller? Well, or that in the horror genre, there's subgenres, which uh, you have gore and disturbing. You have psychological, which is the second main one. Um, monster, home invasion, survival. Mm-hmm. Uh, paranormal, and like, what about the Blair Witch Project? You remember that? I'm going to tell you something about Blair Witch because that came up in my research. That research movie show. was so oh, stupid. I hated it. I did too. But it actually brought up a new way of filming things. It was the first terribly from first person perspective. <laughs> it, well, let me see. Let me uh, where is it? No, but I'll tell you a funny. So at the time, I don't know. I was probably like sixteen, seventeen. And my girlfriend at the time got a hold of a knockoff movie of that, and or a pirated movie, pirated version of that. That's illegal, John. Well, illegal's a sick bird. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs> so she got a hold of it, and then she told her friends that she found this video somewhere in her attic or whatever. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Was, was that, that your Chihuahua? neighbor? No, it was probably my neighbor next door. Neighbor's beating probably off again. on the steps. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so she she told all her friends that she found this movie in her attic. Oh, you guys got to all come over and watch this movie. It's really creepy. So she had all her friends there, and I just, I was such a dick. I just laughed at it the whole time. I'm like, Pfft. I'm like, this is stupid. This is fake. She's like, shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to let them put, so they believe this. And it was very low budget. I couldn't. I couldn't. It was very low budget. 
<clears throat> they made a million. I mean, they made millions and millions of dollars off that movie. What the fuck? Why I don't think, we make a movie? But, but honestly, it was the first of its kind, and it was shot yeah. in such a way that it kept you on your seat. The technique that they used yes. to shoot it is it called was, found footage. It it's was, found footage technique. It was very well done. And it was, it was the first one of its kind, and the found footage technique has been used in numerous movies since then, yeah. including... Uh, <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Cloverfield? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So... My daughter and I, we don't, we'd always make make time to sit and watch a movie. I, I, I'm a movie buff. I love movies. I've seen millions of them. So I said to my daughter, I said, well, I got this movie. You want to watch it? What the hell was that? Is that fuck? I don't think anybody started the camera. Yeah, so I started before I sat down. I don't even think it just shut itself off. It's blinking. <sighs> God damn it. Welcome to the amateur hour. It just went off. With Katie. It just turned off. Mike and Sue. So you. That's my name. Do we go check the camera? So you. So you want to check the camera? I mean, if you just want to get up in the middle of this podcast. Yeah. Well, everybody else does. See you later, buddy. (laughs) Bye. Can you give me another sausage? (laughs) (laughs) And feed it to me? Are we still recording? Yes. Yes, we are. We're just letting everybody know how inadequate and fucking retarded we are. The shit show 2020 continues on right mike mike doesn't know he's stumped oh pretty little Wrong mike no, it just stopped. pretty you little mike. on your fingers through his hair what do you think they use for his hair hair look at it <laughs> like what is that cotton you know who he looks like that one actor i can't think of his name no i, I really uh, <laughs> i can't on. think of his name he's like you know i can't i can't you know who i was talking like about kramer i can't no remember his name he looks like Kramer, but uh he plays in, oh my god, he's in a lot of fucking movies. William Shatner? No. That's it, him. It, it doesn't, but the hair looks but, like the guy. But it's a William Shatner mask, that's... We'll get there. Okay. Where were we? Cloverfield. Oh, so we sit, we sit down and watch this movie, and she goes, well, what kind of movie is this? And I, I'm not sure, I think it's a spy thriller. It sounded <laughs> like codename Cloverfield or something like that. And we sit down and watch it. We're both looking at each other. And she just keeps on saying, spy thriller, really? So that that was... <laughs> so every time I say, yeah, I want to watch this movie, she goes, what kind of movie is a spy thriller? <laughs> <clears throat> no, no. I mean, I mean, honestly, this stuff, uh, Paranormal Activity is a, a new one uh, that's more recent that used that kind of the found footage kind of thing and i think that's a that's something that keeps a lot of people like hooked because you think about it i mean that's honestly something that could happen i shouldn't wouldn't, shouldn't say that but it's more realistic in the sense of yeah you know you can relate more to it than you can pan's labyrinth but well, pan's labyrinth was more of a sci-fi mm-hmm. horror movie which is actually a subgenre, right? But are you not more inclined to be more afraid of something that is more likely to happen? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Than you are something that is completely and entirely. I, th- I think that's why the found footage technique is, is so enthralling to people. Yeah. I think um, <laughs> Evil Dead almost a little bit uses a little bit of that the way they film it. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Not. It's not complete. I mean, it's not put out as a found footage movie but but that part where he's like running through the woods yeah yeah, yeah i love that i love yeah. that part gives you the or sense the second that it's one like where you're he's actually running through the house yeah, yeah 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 or the rape tree the rape tree is my favorite <laughs> the rape tree is the only reason i watched evil dead <laughs> the sheer stupidity is the only reason i watched the second one and ended up liking it so in the subgenres under monster they you know, monster. of what course do you keep, what do you keep saying monster 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 <laughs> Like, what is it? Piece of fucking cheese? Monster. 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 Monster was like Herman. Herman Monster. <laughs> Maybe we're just from different parts of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I guess so. There's uh, vampire, werewolf, you know, giant monsters. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a whole other genre. Uh, small creatures. Giant monsters. Sci-fi and aliens. Genre. Okay. And one of my favorites is zombie. Oh, mm. yeah. And there's two subgenres of zombie. Fast zombies or slow zombies? Zombies are slow. Yeah, I agree. The, the, now the, they become fast, except for in The Walking Dead. They're, well, they can be, but the, for the most part, yeah. part, they're slow. And I remember somebody arguing with me, well, why, well, it makes more sense that a zombie will be fast. I'm like, yeah, but it's the hordes. They're just slow, and you can't overcome the, the sheer numbers of them. 
Right. That's how they get you. Like, ah, I could just run away from them, but they don't stop. Well, it's like Friday the 13th. How fast those kids run through the woods and, and Jason just is walking behind them. Yeah. And he's always Same right with there. Michael Myers. Yeah. <clears throat> it is what it but is. But Jason could teleport. What? Yeah. Just like uh, Bigfoot? <laughs> he, maybe he is a Bigfoot. <laughs> mm, he's a urine. What are the two subcultures <laughs> of zombie movies? Now? There's undead, which are the undead, and then there's virus. There's <clears throat> ah, two okay. separate ones. Makes sense. Oh. Makes so, sense. did you ever see Twenty Eight Days Later? Yes. I did. Okay. When I first saw that movie, I'm like, yeah, this movie wasn't that great. Like, I I didn't I didn't dislike it, but it was like, eh, it could have been better. And then I found out what the budget for that movie was. Like, they only spent $6 million to make that movie. Only $6 million. Dollars. Well, cons- cheap. considering the, cheap bastards. the blockbusters coming out of out of Hollywood are, are spending 30 and $40 million on a movie, hoping to make $60 million. 28 Days Later spent $6 million and made $60 million. It's called A Good Time. Wow. Yeah, it is. So when I went back and I watched it again and looked I at it. That, I liked that movie. I thought it was good. Well, I looked at it through the lens of a, a B a B low budget movie and I, I think I enjoyed it more knowing it was a B movie. Yeah. Hmm. Like I, I remember all the creepy monster movies from oh. the fifties and sixties because they were always on when I was growing up. Yeah. The big spiders, the big the big ants, you know, whatever. Godzilla. Yeah. Godzilla. Godzilla. I don't know. Zombieland was a pretty good zombie movie. I love Zombieland. Zombieland was great. Did you see the second one? Yes. I, I enjoyed it. Like I we, did too. My son watched that with me, and we like we just both we just both had a good time watching it. I didn't see the second one. Hmm. I didn't know it was out. Really? Yeah. I think there's actually like a third one. I think the newest one is the third one, right? Is it? I don't know. I thought that there were two Zombielands, and then the third one. Eh, I don't know. There's a new one. The newer one was the second one, I thought. I, I don't know. Maybe if there's another one, would have done their research. If there's another one, I'm up for watching Woody it. Woody Harrelson. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, you know. What about Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman? That's that was a viral That's, infection, but it was they weren't zombies. That's probably more like a thriller. That was like a, a thriller, spy like, thriller, <laughs> a spy thriller. <laughs> How about thriller, thriller? Thriller. Would you consider that thriller, a movie? Thriller was a horror. Music video. And it was great. Yeah. I mean, I'm so up in the air about Michael Jackson. Because he, he made great music, but then there's a whole thing with the kids that kind of stained his career. And, and the sheets. You know, <laughs> and, I don't... Oh. oh. I went there. That was cold. <laughs> and, you know, listen, that's a whole other topic. You know, uh, I don't know. Thriller, regardless of where you stand on Michael Jackson, it's just one of those things where everybody hears it, you want to get up and dance, you know. Mm, you know, it is what it is. See, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. I don't know. So I pose a question. Out of the three of us sitting here, your your favorite horror movie of all time and go. I don't know. I don't know if I'm I'm a big Friday the thirteenth fan, but I don't know if it'd be my favorite. Um like there, there's, there's so many for me. Like, I, I love Evil Dead two. I love Phantasm two and three. Um, Hellraiser was very impressionable when I was young. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Younger. You were very impressionable when you were young. So, I, I think I told John this story once. When I was, when I was like five, a movie came out called Magic. Did I tell you that? Uh, I think so. But continue. It was a ventriloquist dummy. Yeah. And, and okay. I, I didn't... I wanted to watch this movie in the worst way. And I wasn't allowed. So one night after everybody was no longer paying attention to me, I snuck down. And this movie was on the TV. And I'm watching it. And I had freaking nightmares. And this... Did you, wet, did you wet the bed? No, I did not. But thanks for asking. I had nightmares. And even to the point where when... Heart did Magic Man, the, the song. Yeah. Like, I turned the radio off. You piss your pants. No. No. <laughs> but just, you're an impressionable child. I was. You watch that movie now, and how do you feel yeah. about it? I think it's corny. Yeah. See? See, I feel the same way about A Nightmare on Elm Street. Really? Like, All the OG movies. That movie was scary as shit when I was a kid, and then I rewatched it last year with my daughter, and she was 
she was laughing at it. She's like, "Daddy, this is this is cheesy." It is. It's horror comedy. Mm-hmm. It's a dark comedy, but it's a horror comedy. I mm-hmm. I've always loved them. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. There's two. There's two when he had the needles instead of the, the instead of the, instead of the, the knives, blades, yeah. and he, he shoves them in her eye. He goes, "What a rush!" <laughs> you know, like that, that to me is funny as hell. Yeah. But they did some excellent special effects in those movies. In fact. The, for the time, yeah. The mm-hmm. movies of the 70s and 80s had great special effects for their time. Like, you look at them now, and the, the special effects are all digital and everything now. Well, they didn't do digital back then. Yeah. Everything was done. Costume. There was a magazine that I used to get as a kid uh, through high school called Fangora. And Fangora was, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, it's Michael Myers' hair. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's his pube hair. <laughs> it's his slushy slush socks. <laughs> Fangora magazine. I used to take it to. I would take it and sit at, eat at the lunch table, and I, I'd read this, and people would get sick from. They wouldn't eat their lunch, and I'm like, "You gonna eat that? I'll take that." <laughs> but I would do it on purpose because like the stuff didn't bother me. Me and my my buddy Rob, we, we used to read that magazine all the time, and we actually there. Uh, we got a latex mask, and it was just a neck piece, and I still have it someplace. And it's like a throat cut. And we hooked it up and we had blood oozing out of it. And we tried to trick one of our teachers. And, <laughs> nice. And like he went in. He's like, oh, you got to come out here. Mike, Mike fell and he cut his. He, he's, he's bleeding really bad. And, and the teacher's like, what? And he's like, you got to fucking get out here. And when he said that, she's like, oh, my God. If he's going to curse, he's got to be real. And she comes out and she's like having heart palpitations. Where her husband saw me getting ready because he was another teacher at the school. And like he's... He, he stepped in real quick and said, that's enough. Like he, he let us pull the trick, but then he said, that's enough. So we didn't get any trouble for it because it was funny. Yeah. But but like we were really into the special effects and all that. And, and, oh, and yeah. Back then, like Jason, Freddie, Michael, the, the special effects were just top notch for the day. Mm-hmm. I'd have to say maybe Poltergeist for me. Uh, oh, that's a good movie. There was just some really creepy parts of that. That old creepy Heroine. man. Your yeah, demons that, have been exercised. That I just yeah, remember watching that, that with my it. sister. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, what's with the like little short lady? And she's so creepy. Her voice, though, honestly, she did uh, <clears throat> scariest places on earth. Was on Fox Family when it was a thing, and she was the narrator for it. And when you hear her voice, when she's when you don't actually when you can't actually put. <laughs> A voice to the body, because then it's fucking hilarious. But when she just talks and she's rapping about these places, I mean it—it's honestly creepy. Her voice is chilling. Yeah. Her voice is chilling. That's why it scarred me forever. There's a movie I watched. Like I must have watched it like twenty times, and I never thought of it as a horror movie. But when you look back, it kind of is a zo- zombie type. Night of the Comet. You ever see that? Never heard of her. No. It was two Valley Girls who were in a vault stuck when stuck in a dryer. When this comet <laughs> hit the earth and anybody who was outside got irradiated and turned into zombies and anybody who was protected. So these, it, like, it was so corny, but for, for the 80s, it was a shit. <laughs> uh, there has been some really bad movies I've seen. I just turn them off. And Leprechaun? <laughs> yeah. But Leprechaun. they are the fun ones. They though. are fun. I mean, sci-fi was my jam. Growing up, all the you know horror movies and stuff they would play. I mean, but I grew up a horror fan. I read Goosebumps. I watched Tales from the Crypt. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. They were before it was a show or a movie. They were books. And, I know that. And you could actually pick the ending. They and were I, kids books. They were kid. I was a fucking child, Mike. Mind you, I was born in 1989. However, what I'm saying is, there was some good shit out there. You know that kind of like led me into my thing. But I've, I don't know it. So now I, I was born in 1970, so I'm old. But uh, so the the movies that I started watching when I was 12, 13 years old, when I started really getting into horror movies, uh, were movies from the late 60s, okay, uh, early 70s. So you were born in 89, mm-hmm. Lost Boys. Okay, what about it? It was 87, so it was two years before you were born. Was that one of your impressionable movies? Nope. Really? Oh, really? man, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. It's the, it's the, the modern vampire movie. What's the matter, Michael? It's just yeah, but I don't, I don't think Michael, it, I think you're I eating just, maggots, Michael. How do they taste? <laughs> it wasn't necessarily impressionable for me. No? I mean, I don't know. So what was what was your first impressionable horror movie? 
a first impression probably Candy halloween Man. it was probably halloween but as a ch- watching it as a child was was different i watch it now i mean michael myers is pretty much my role model like whoo yes i'm wearing the shirt yeah i like the shirt no lives matter <clears throat> um but I mean, it's not scary for me. For me, it's just, you know, cool. And I, But I think the more movies they make, and they're making another, yet another Halloween, it's just getting old. So is Jamie Lee Curtis. And it's just like... Watch yeah. it. Watch it. <laughs> well... I'm just saying. You know, I, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go out. I'm going to say it. I, I love Jamie Lee Curtis and the whole Michael Myers trilogy crap. Trilogy? It's like a quad, quad yeah, whatever. trilogy. I can't. <laughs> Quintuple key, whatever. How many are there? Like six, seven? A lot. But the last one, they had to go. And I, I kind of like the last. I one. feel it's no. cheesy. We, like I really, saw it in theaters, and I did not appreciate really, it. Really, you set a trap, and then there's like guns in it, and it just. We you have to and realize then they left the door wide open again. That that was like a lot of the, the Halloween movies are disconnected. They're they're not. There's no continuity to them. This one was continuity. I just felt this one was. This one was straight continuity. Well, that's just, what I liked about it. I just it. felt it was they they went the che- they went the easy route and they're like, oh, we're just gonna have explosions and shoot a lot of guns in the end of it, and we'll just make it Americanized. And there's still another one coming out. But I, I just thought I, I, I like like not that I have anything against guns. Like the newest the newest uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Mm-hmm. To me, that was Friday the Thirteenth, one point five. It really wasn't Friday the Thirteenth. Did that freaking camera just go off again? You need a new camera, Mike. Or there's ghosts in this house. That could be. There's some ghosts in this house. I don't know. I gotta go check the camera. Oh, my God. Oh, things were just getting good. I know. And Mike's gotta go pee again. Mike's not going to pee. Uh, Do you have to take a break, too? Can I just talk to these people for a little bit? Just talk. Yeah, go for it. I don't know. Spit it. I have so many things I could say. Just say I don't know what to say. What was your favorite Halloween movie? Out of the whole entire series? First yeah. One. The OG, the first yeah, one. Oh, yeah. I agree. Absolutely. I do like the... I the, know you can't hear me, but I said the first one. Mike said the first one. I, I gotta say, I like the uh, Scott Dillon ones. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, I retract my statement. <clears throat> uh, just joking. The Rob Zombie ones. He th- I, I, I like them. I, I thought they were Halloween H two O. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I did OG is where it's at. I don't think you can get any better than the original. And Jamie Lee Curtis does not show her tits in the original. She doesn't show her tits in the uh, remake either because I think we went into the theater expecting that and we were disappointed. She doesn't. I think they had lured to that like she was going to, but they, but she didn't. And then it was a big disappointment. Yeah. I had to argue with you about this because that's a what's been a long time since I've seen it. And I, I always felt that I always thought in my mind she showed her boobs. I don't care. Yeah. I was what? what was, well, that's a common. What misconception. was the first Halloween made? Wow, uh, seventy six. Okay, so I was probably ten or twelve years old. I saw boobs. I don't care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I saw boobies. A little bit areola. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that whole concept of just this, like oh, like the when she looks out the window, and he's just standing by that tree. That's the, I love that part. It's like right in the beginning, she's sitting in her classroom and looks out the window, and he's just standing there like, like cre- that would, yeah. that creeps me out. You know I what bo- that part. You know what bothers me about so hard. Like people say Frankenstein, like Frankenstein, Frank- whatever, however you want to blur your lines. <laughs> it's not Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein's monster. Like Frankenstein is not the monster. You mean you gave me the brain? Frankenstein of is the, the scientist. The newest, the newest Frankenstein movie doesn't allude to Frankenstein being the monster. Which I one? Don't remember which one. What about Van Helsing? Yeah, I enjoyed I it. That, I watched it. I enjoyed that, it. And the movie I'm talking about, along with Van Helsing, falls into that category. It's like um, Underworld. I'm a very big fan of Underworld, but it. They I think I know the Frankenstein movie you're talking that, you about. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Doc Frank, or I am Frankenstein, yes. I believe yes. is what I'm talking yes. about. Yeah. Um, but he even alludes that he was he was made. Right, right, right. So he's Frankenstein's monster. Right. Monster. Monster. Herman Monster was a Frankenstein. Monsters is what we're talking Hence about Hence why you bastardize something together and they call it Frankenstein. I can say monster any way I want to. 
<clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. But Thank you. getting Thank you back much. to the topic at hand, movies today, the horror movies being made today, I feel like are more along the lines of uh, psychological thrillers. You don't necessarily see a lot of monster movies anymore. No. Um, it's more psychological. And I'm, one of my favorite movies, actually my all-time favorite horror movie, came out of the newer span here and it's insidious the original very first insidious the only movie that's ever actually got me to jump that actually gave me chills when i watched it and it doesn't happen very often i think i saw parts of that um but i don't remember that one it's uh you, you've seen it you just probably don't remember it's a great movie uh, yeah I'm... and it's based on things that can or can't be true you know depending on it's about a, a child who inherits the ability to astral project in his dreams from his father but he goes too far into oh, that's right. yeah, into yeah. the um the other side and gets possessed by a demon and uh just the stuff that happens in the way it plays out i think it's it was well done it was a great movie um my favorite so i don't know i mean it depends it takes a lot to scare me but i do love horror I scared you today. That yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my heart was in my throat for about a solid hour. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she was out back grilling the sausages, and I came in. And I thought she heard me. I was standing by the back door, and I was just like, I yelled real, "Katie!" I literally turned around. He's like, "Yo, Katie!" And I'm like, "Oh my!" I'm pretty sure my face said it all. <laughs> I about pissed my pants. She shat on the herself. Deck. Well, but the Resident Evil movies. I like them. I see again. I don't. I wouldn't class classify that as a horror. The, the, it's considered horror. Zombie virus. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm 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 up on the fence about that one. I don't know. I, I just think she's hot. Oh, absolutely. But, what are we um, talking about? Resident Evil. Oh. Mila. Mila Jojovich. What about the Fifth Element. Oh, Lilu. Oh. oh, that's not a horror movie, but down, down boy, down boy. <laughs> Two. Whew. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, there's the classic, uh, The Exorcist. That's probably been done to death. You ever see Scanners? Yeah, I saw Scanners. You ever see? I like Scanners. It's all right. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm. It takes a lot, like you said, to scare me. So, for me, the most part, I'm, I'm just like, ah, that's stupid. I don't believe that, or. Uh, it's got to be like uh, I know you didn't like this movie, The Baba Duke. I don't remember much of the. Babadook. I don't know that I saw it. You saw it because you said you liked it. If if I saw it, I saw it a long time ago. Yeah, it was probably about four years ago. Uh. So they find that book in their house. The kid reads it, and the the book basically is let out a demon out of the. I saw that movie out of the book, <laughs> and it, it constantly. It was an Australian film. Yes, and this demon or whatever it was <clears throat> kept fucking with the family a mother and son and it was driving the kid crazy she's not getting any sleep and then she ended up getting fired from her job trying to deal with her crazy son and she burned the book at one point and it showed back up in the house so i i thought it was pretty original if you ask me i liked it uh there's that movie the witch you ever see that yes that's with black philip was it uh, I don't the newer remember. one, the witch, where they are like in olden times, living yep. out in the country, yep. and the goat talks to the girl and yes. makes her do crazy things. Yeah. That movie pissed me off. Why? Because I was so hyped to see it and thought it was going to be okay, and the whole time it was about a stupid talking fucking goat, and I hated it. No, wait a minute. What about the uh, the the witch that actually lived in the woods? No, there was. At the end, you see the coven like getting together, but the whole time it's about this stupid fucking goat. Go, his name was Black Phillip. Hated uh, it. Maybe I'm thinking of something Hated else. It. Because it, 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 there was an actual, like, really demonic-looking witch that lived in the woods and would come out of the woods, and it snatched up the kid in the in the in the beginning. I don't think we're talking about the same movie. I think we are. I think we're just rarely. Is that the, the one where the, the mother goes ways. in and they're underground? And no, no. What the like hell? Was the, that? I don't know what that one the, was. The first scene, I think, is it looks like it's out on a prairie somewhere, and mm -hmm. there's woods in the background. Yes. And the daughter, she's really young, maybe like 12, takes the, her little brother 
out to go play near the creek. They're getting water. We are thinking of the same yeah. movie. Yeah, and yes. he disappears. Yes. Wow, you didn't like was that. Was it a creek or a crick? No. I usually creek. say creek. I don't know why it's I say creek. creek. I say creek all the time. Mark. It's creek. It's, it's creek. That's because you guys And at are... the end of the movie, all you see is the, the girl uh, standing naked in the circle of witches in the middle of the fire. Yeah. And black... Yeah. I didn't appreciate it. Mm. I was so hyped up for it and didn't appreciate it. Wow. Don't you hate that? I do. I, and that's life, you know? Like that... Fuck the... Just full of expectation and then the actual thing's a letdown. Yeah. Damn. Like that Bob Lazar movie. Ugh. Ugh. Katie, you gotta see this. That sucks. Yeah, I fell asleep the first time. The second time, I fell, fell asleep. asleep. <laughs> but John falls asleep every time he watches a movie. Uh, not true. John hypes me really? for a lot of shit. I was fully awake for that movie with Tom Hanks, Greyhound. Greyhound? Grey Wolf. Were you, were you oh, I want to see that? that. I didn't see that. It was a good movie. We, no, we, we put it on and you're like, you're gonna fall asleep in 10 minutes. I'm like, I will not. You, and, and you did. It was 10 minutes later and I was 10 minutes asleep. later and John fell asleep, but he woke up at the best part. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. I... If if you guys talk about classic horror, like I'm talking 50s and 60s classic, what what, what would be your favorite one from back then? I wouldn't even know. Creature from the Black Lagoon. That is one of my favorites. Creature from the Black Lagoon. That and the Fall of the House of Usher. I have not it. seen that one. That's based on the Edgar Allan Poe I writings. Do like Edgar Allan Poe. Old Edgar. And House on Haunted Hill. House on Haunted Hill is what was the other one? It was like a it was a, it was a very long movie. Rose Rosemary's Baby? No, not Rosemary's Baby. Um House on Haunted Hill and then it was something Rose, Red Rose or Rose Red? Red Rum. Uh, red Rum. Rosebud. Uh, Rose Red or Red uh, Rose. I red got, Robin. Damn it, John. Rose Red or I think it was Rose Red. Uh <laughs> it was pretty good too. <laughs> one of my favorites like cuz I did a lot of reading when I grew up too, as well as watching movies. I love a HP. A gentleman, a scholar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew how to read. H.P. Lovecraft. You ever oh. read any of his stuff? I just told you I was an R.L. Stein fan. Yeah. Re- Reanimator. Okay. You ever see the movie? No. the The book is much better. Okay. What's it about? It's about bringing people back to life with some serum, and it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why? Well, yeah, that's kind of like Overlord. It was a green serum. Oh, yes, green. Well, but it was too. Well, shoot me full of your green juice, baby. <laughs> Bring me back to life. Okay, John made it gay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's dripping all but over no, my face. How about uh, pet, how about Pet Cemetery? Oh yeah, that movie the creeped me out. The old I was a kid. one was a lot better than the new one. The yes. new one fucking sucked. Of the course. old one was great. I didn't like the I, new one. I like the old one. I like the original. That's what I just said. That little. Creep, I'm agreeing with you. That oh. creepy kid who saws the dude's Achilles tendon in half with the razor. Gage. Gage was his name. Gage. The cat's name is Church. Church. Two things I only remember about that movie. I mean, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, always a great. Oh, I love that. Love it. And I didn't. I refuse. See, I'm not a big fan of remakes. I'm not a fan of reboots or remakes. So when they come out, like I resist as long as I can. Eventually, I watch them, but I'll resist as long as I can to watch them. I think for the most part they suck. I, to the most part, they do. I used to not think that till I met you. And you're like, I fucking hate remakes. I'm like, really? And then the more I started watching, I'm like, yeah, you know what? They're just they yeah. You, you try remakes, and do better, yes. but you can't. Yes. Yeah. You're trying to change the story just a little bit to make it fit. Whatever. I just, I don't like it. No. Like all the Spider-Mans and all the Batmans and... Yeah. Now you the got... New, the new Batman is a completely other topic. Now you got you don't got start. an idiot playing Batman and... <laughs> Robert Pattinson. I still no, think... No, before I st- him. I still think my favorite, <laughs> um, my favorite Batman was with uh, ben Keaton. Affleck. Michael Keaton. Really? Michael Keaton. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jack Nicholson as the Joker... That was more the comic book style Batman. Yeah. I, I like the Dark Knight series, but we're off topic. Something just came to mind for me. Because, you know, we are talking about horror movies. What about the Saw series? You know the what? The Saw <clears throat> series for me, I enjoyed it. Not like scary, but like I really did enjoy the Saw series. I, I like the first good... one or two. After that, I just think it's gratuitous violence. That you want to play a game? But at the same time, I think it was great. I, I stopped watching them. The so... first Saw... Is the first one was good. Great. Yeah. The second uh, one was good. Yeah. But I would consider them more like a psychological. 
but that apparently that falls into the subcategories. Yeah. And I mean, I could throw a bunch of names out. Let me see where Saw falls here. Um, it's under gore and disturbing, under torture. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot. Like of the gore. movie Hostel. Yeah. I didn't really care for Hostel. What but, about? I mean, I've watched, uh, you know, like, um, what the hell was that? Real live death thing? Uh, Faces of death. Faces of death. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's as horrific as you can get. Right. But, like, I come from the era of, like, Psycho. You didn't see the violence, but you knew it was there, and it was still kind of spooky. Yeah. Where Saw, and even, even like, uh, Hellraiser. Hellraiser, I think, was one of the first movies that I saw that they showed the violence. Like, the hooks coming out and ripping yeah. the guy apart. And, and okay, there, I think there's a place for that, but I don't know that, I that, love the gore. that that's what makes a good horror movie. I enjoy movie. gore, too. What about the final, the, not. Final Destination? No. The, god damn it, was the fucking not newest Rambo, the one before that, where the guy, they took those, he took those missionaries into, uh. It's my fucking cord. He took those missionaries into Burma. Shotgun Preacher? And I mean that a machine gun preacher. That movie is gory. Like they show, you know, the village running across a minefield and getting blown up. They're shooting them down. They're throwing grenades at them, and you know when you get blown up, it shows, shows like blood mist, chunks of the body parts flying. And yeah, it's, it's just, gratuitous violence, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not downing it. I'm just saying it's. You consider it's, that a horror movie? No, that's an action adventure. Uh, no. You're not going to start this again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean... Oh, I can and I will. You I are not going to talk crap on Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> but it's funny. I told you I love Sly. I throw out a bunch of names of horror movies, though. Talk about Jeepers Creepers. I Children like Jeepers Corn, Creepers. Uh, House of Wax. The Hills House of Wax have loved eyes. it. All the Which stuff, Hills Have Eyes? The original? House of a Thousand Corpses. It depends. Because the, the Rob Zombie version... Was like pretty much porn. I love Sharon. Yeah, Moon. but it it was not what the original story was. See, it's a remake, it's a reboot, so I have a, a grudge against it to begin with. I did watch it. I thought it was a, a decent. It was a it was a spooky movie. I mean, not not like spooky, like ghost spooky, but like they turn a guy into a fish. See, that's fish what boy. I think of though when I think of spooky ghosts. Ghosts, I mean, haunted houses. How about disturbing? That's spooky. How about disturbing? Disturbing is this whole entire podcast. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't say you said you're a pussy cat. What about it? Look at it. It, it never scared me. All never. the people that say, "Oh, it was so scary," blah blah blah. I didn't find it scary at all. I don't find the original scary. I don't find the new one scary. Actually, the second remake, uh, it too, bored me to death. And I, I don't know. I. You would think all the technology we have to remake some of these movies would be great, but scare so, me. Scare me. Don't know if I saw it. Motherfucker. <laughs> but I'm asking. I'm begging, actually. Yeah, and I think that's the issue for me is a, just a lot of shit doesn't scare me. What so was the one where the kids it? broke into the deaf guy's house? I don't know. The deaf nom guy's house? He was like special forces. Uh, killed them all. Uh, don't uh, don't breathe. Don't or breathe. Something yeah. like that. That was good. That was. I good. like that one. But yeah. what if, what was the one where it was completely? So you showed me this. It was completely silent. The entire fucking film was silent. Like the first five. I said, "Is this how the entire movie is going to breathe?" Yeah, breathe. This is how the entire movie is going to be. A quiet place. Yeah. I know. I watched this with you, John Krakow. It's but, uh, quiet. What's her face is in it? Uh, Ray Liotta. No, 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 no. It's a check. That was it. Quiet place. Oh, em- Emily Blunt. No, 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 no. no. Um, Nicole Kidman. Oh my god, I'm gonna smack you. I thought it was Nicole Kidman too, actually. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sandra Bullock. Was she really? No, that that's no. That, Sandra that was Bullock a was in one. a completely different movie. That was oh uh, damn it! They had the whatever they looked at something, it would possess their body. No, no, no. no. They, they, they had to be quiet because these aliens could hear them or, or these creatures could hear them. You're thinking if, of a completely different movie. Ah, now I'm second guessing. It might be. I mean, no. Remember, I checked, but I don't have internet access. Remember, they were in that house. Machine Gun Kelly was in it. They went to the grocery store, and it was, if they stared at somebody who had the disease or virus, whatever it was. Bird Box. Bird Box. That was Sandra Bullock. You're Thank right. You. You're right. Bird I'm Box. always You're right. 
I was wrong once. I thought I was wrong, but I wasn't. You were mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> That's my line, asshole. That was Marty's line. Yeah, he learned it from me. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No way. In the case of stolen valor. Anyway. <laughs> oh! But Bird Box was good. Bird Box uh, was okay. Silence of the Lambs. Love it. Come on. Love it. Clear classic. If you don't like Silence of the Lambs, anybody who doesn't like Silence of the Lambs. Probably takes it right in the ass. Dry. Hello, Clarice. He likes it. Yes. But that was, yes. Okay. Uh, what was the other one? Jaws. No. Were they singing to horses? Hold on. Horses? Hold on. Let, let's, let, let's wrap on Jaws for a second. <laughs> Where they sing to horses? They sing goodbye horses. What? That was Silence of the Lambs, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye yeah, horses. Yeah. He wears the skin mask. Yeah. Do you want to fuck me? Do you want to fuck me? I'd fuck me so hard. <laughs> um, let's, okay, let's wrap basket. on it. Jaws. I don't consider it a horror movie. I think it caused a lot of... Because it's a real thing, and this is what I'm saying. Horror movies are best when they can play off that of fears that can Sharks actually be real. Rap. Real. No, well... Great white sharks are but fucking monsters. There's but. people who will not go into water because of Jaws. Okay. That that to me is a successful horror movie. Nah, that just means people are stupid. Well, that's true. I've always thought people are stupid. It had nothing to do with movies. <laughs> okay, see, so, oh, oh, I don't go in the water because there might be sharks. Congratulations, you'd be correct. Sharks live in the water. I don't... I think it gave people an irrational fear of sharks. And... Fear is the name of the game in horror. Is it? I think so. Yeah. You want to be scared. I thought it was you just wanna... to make the back of your throat tickle. I don't know why. <laughs> That's other things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I did, but I saw Jaws, and I a shark's favorite animal, hands down. They don't make me scared to go in the water. They intrigue me to go in the water. Well, okay. We That's both scuba dive. We both, we both have no problem with sharks. I have taken a picture within four foot. Of a um, shark. One of the smallest sharks on the <laughs> island of Saipan. <laughs> so what? Uh, oh, a little baby shark. Brown. It was it was a black tip reef shark. shark dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Not even... Okay. How close, how close have you been to a shark besides behind glass? I've been right... I have been... Within, in the water. I have... In the water. I have swam next to a shark in open water right up next to her. Listen, and I she got was you 40 all feet long, motherfucker. I got you you got bit by a shark. Feet. No. I caught a shark. That's right. Psst. Yep. And I held it in my hands. Psst. Their skin is crazy. You, heard, you hear this? <laughs> oh, it's because. Did Katie we're open another monster? Both. She queef out another monster? <laughs> she just queefed a monster. <laughs> nah. Sharks don't scare me. Yeah, they, they don't scare well, me either. I love sharks. People sharks scare me more than sharks. Paper. Yes. And their eyes are their eyes are crazy looking. Hmm. But yeah. So, a little hmm. sand shark. No teeth. They all have teeth. The, I was, apparently, I was what I was told, they don't have teeth. They have teeth. They have teeth. They're just small teeth and not razor sharp. The one I caught had a fucking jaw on it. Hmm. Well, I guess that fucking guy was wrong. Oh. Prick. Fuck him. <sighs> you guys see Happy that. Death Day? I did not. Yeah, the preview, because I won't watch it. Oh, I enjoyed that movie. I did When I when my buddy said to me, he goes, hey, well, we're going to watch this movie. And I'm like, dude, that kind of looks stupid. Uh, but I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the second one, too. Happy Death Day to you. What about no. The Purge? The Purge? Is that horror? I would consider it. it if we're talking be. about horror if and all Jaws the subcultures, is horror I'm and just The Purge is say. not. Well, The Jaws falls under one of the, the subcategories in the genres. You know what, though? I can't say shit about that because we were talking about The Birds, too. And uh, he said the he said birds is a horror movie. And you know what? It doesn't scare me. I don't consider it a horror movie. But my mother is definitely afraid of birds and could not watch that movie. It made her skin crawl. How can so, you be afraid of birds? Uh, she got attacked by they, a goose when she was little. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> they peck a dude's eye out in the movie. That's uh, you can, that's you not can't scary. Just, like, kick the thing. Yeah, it they're, they're flying. They're crows. They're coming after you. Break its neck. <laughs> oh God! Have you heard of a tennis racket? Bing. What about misery? That was good. I remember watching that. And I think my mom and stepdad wouldn't let me. They like covered my eyes during the part where she smashes his ankles with the sledgehammer. Annie Wilkes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was all right. Uh, of The Shining. I, I've watched it I probably liked, about ten times. It's a good I movie. I like Doctor Strange better. Yeah. The, the newer. And Doctor Strange wasn't necessarily a remake. It was just a. 
It was a branch off of The Shining, but I did enjoy Doctor Strange. I was drunk the first time I watched it in the movie theater. The second time I watched it, almost completely sober and still enjoyed it just as much. It was a, it was, that was well made. I'm going to have to check that out. Never heard of it. Doctor Strange. Never heard of it. I thought Doctor Strange was a comic book movie. Uh, I think you should shut your warm mouth. <laughs> You've been told. Okay, I'm just saying, Doctor Strange, isn't that the comic book movie? Isn't that I, the Marvel? No, Doctor Strange is that movie that I'm talking about. Hmm, okay. What about The Ritual? don't know if I saw it. Oh, this was the one I was trying to tell you about, but I... You forgot the name, forgot, forgot the actors, and yeah. forgot what it was about? Yeah. <laughs> so, these four guys, I think it is, they're grieving the death of their best friend. So they go over to some Welsh Island or something like that to go on a hiking trip. And um, there's an old like Norse mythical creature and legend. It's like a horse monster hmm. that lives in the woods. And so they get lost in the woods and this thing is slowly starts like messing with them. And at the end, I think it ends up killing like three of the guys. And the one guy makes it to this creepy village and... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but they're like sacrificing people. This horse monster comes out of the woods and like jerks the guy off or something. I, I don't know. It's it's why weird. why why's it got <laughs> why kind of make it a gay I'm, movie? Because if it wasn't gay, John wouldn't like it. <laughs> but eh, I don't know. That was that was all right. It was another one when I watched like the Baba Duke and they're all foreign foreign movies. What about Alien? What about it? Love it. You don't think it's a horror movie? Nope. It's sci-fi horror. It's a sci-fi thriller. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. I, I don't disagree with you. When I saw it on the list as a horror movie, I was like, ah, I'm not sure. It would be a lot more cooler if aliens were real. Sounds like another podcast. It does. Hmm. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So where are we at here? Here's one. I sent this to John. It's under the genre gore and disturbing extreme. The name is a Serbian movie. You sent that to me or I, I sent, sent it to you? A Serbian you? film. It's called a Serbian film. When did you send that to me? Probably last night. Ooh. I guess you didn't get it last night. Yeah. That sounds like a personal problem. Well, I could double his things, but what I'm trying to say is... I was too busy working. John, you'll have to look this movie up. I think you'll enjoy it. What's it about? It's about a porn star. <laughs> Who has a stepbrother? <laughs> no, porn star, an older porn star. She's like trying to get out of business, but she's offered a job to do one more film. And it turns out it's a snuff film. Oh, damn. Eat them snuff films. Yeah. Eight millimeter. I've already lost it's a snuff film. Yeah. But is that horror or suspense? I would say suspense. It's gay. Next. You wouldn't watch it because there's Nick Cage in it. I didn't think it was a good movie. It wasn't. We just I just watched it because it was about a porn star in a snuff film. I actually thought that was one of his better movies. Oh. <laughs> just saying. I liked Wicker Man. I'm sure you did. Wicker Man could be a horror movie. I you guess. Probably. Or yeah. not. You know, or I can't imagine dying a more horrific death than being burned do, alive by a gigantic a, wooden man. There's a subgenre that is Blumpkin <laughs> slash Redneck. Wow. I have to see this. That's just a subgenre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre falls under that subgenre. Mm-hmm. Along with Blumpkins? Could you imagine? Like Country a... Blumpkin? Imagine... Bumpkin, not Blumpkin. It says Those Blumpkin. Those are two very different things. Check the definition in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Wait, is it Bumpkin or Blumpkin? It says Blumpkin. Bumpkin. Could you imagine getting a Blumpkin from... <laughs> it was Bumpkin, and Mike just copied it the way he wanted to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever gotten a Blumpkin from Michael Myers... <laughs> You give us a call. <laughs> so, if we haven't mentioned your favorite horror movie. Were you not listening? What? Been there, done that like a half an hour ago. No, no, no. I'm talking to the viewers now. I'm not talking to you. Oh. If we haven't Carry mentioned on. your favorite horror if movie. we haven't mentioned Carry their on. favorite Carry horror on. movie. I mean, I feel like we've mentioned a lot. Drop, <laughs> drop a comment. Let us know. Yeah. Uh. If you want to see something on the podcast, drop a comment. Let us know. Yeah, we're open to suggestions. Uh, anything. Basically, all we do is we're we just... We're willing to try anything. 
talk about I shit. I will try anything once. <laughs> I'm just going to put that on the podcast so everybody knows it's gospel. What, what? I will try anything once. So, that's the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Go take on the world.